What is happening everyone? Welcome to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. You can see that we have the Mac going on right now. It's open and running. We also have the Google Chrome app. Uh, you can see right here on the screen. And the topic for today is what to do in case you find or get to this situation. So your connection is not private whatever happens here or whatever else is written on the screen, but basically how you can get through the connection is not private on Google Chrome running on Mac. Well, the first thing you should pay attention to is that if you actually want to do something about it, because this is a feature which prevents you from being exposed to, exposed to some potentially malicious files or users, whatever. Well, the basic idea is that perhaps you don't even want to get through it. You don't want to fix it. Perhaps you just want to leave the website altogether and go back to something safer. So yeah, it's up to you to decide if you want to proceed with that, because I believe there you should see some advanced options. And like you, if you probably click on learn more, you will be able to pass through it and get it to the website regardless. So that would be something to pay attention to, but perhaps you don't even want to. Okay, but when you get to this section, what you can do is basically refresh the page. That would be the first step you need to take. Sometimes it may happen that when you refresh the page, something's gonna happen to you. You're gonna notice that the website suddenly starts working. Perhaps there was some kind of glitch or whatever. So refreshing the website is gonna be the first step. But then what you have to make sure is that you check that you have the correct time set on your MacBook. For this, you need to open up the system preferences or the settings. Guys, I want you to use your devices the best possible way. And that's why I created this free educational platform where you can find, as of right now, there's the video editing course, all apps explain where you can find full guides for many different apps. We're constantly adding more to the list. It's free to access, link is down below. And in here, you wanna go to the uh, general section and find the date and a time. So it is right here. And I would recommend you to have it set to automatically because in that case, you just use the internet time. When it has access to the internet, it's gonna make sure that you have the correct time set. And that way you're not supposed to be worried about anything. The reason I mentioned this is because when you don't have the time set properly, when you just disable this option and just set it up on your own, to just choose some random time or something is wrong perhaps the certificate of the website that you're trying to visit is going to be expired by then and this means that it's going to show you the pop-up of not private connection so in case you want to remove that the problem from from your side just make sure you have the correct time set on your device now the next thing what you can do is to clear the cache because if you are on your uh, google chrome you can see that you can go to the uh, settings as normal and you can clear the cache so i'm going to show you how you can do that right now so in the settings go to the privacy and security you have a clear browsing data right here this is the button to click on and here you have the you need to be only just in the basic section you don't even have to go to the advanced and there are cached images and files cookies and browsing history so you can select everything and clear data altogether from all time or you can specify it so you can choose that for example only within the last 24 hours you disable browsing history you disable cookies you want to leave it untouched you only want to remove and clear cached files and images so let's say that within the last 24 hours you can see there is 148 megabytes worth of cached data and cached files so you can clear that easily and uh, decide if uh, it helped or see if it helped you or not by going to the same page to see what's going on now if none of that helps perhaps the problem is in the web browser so in that case what you can do is to simply try a different one go to safari go to opera whatever else you use and fire up the same website if you get the same pop-up or something is wrong with that well, you probably know that you shouldn't go to that website at the end. It's probably not good for your device. It can potentially hurt you. So I would avoid those websites altogether. But in case you are 100% sure that the website is safe, you can get past that security alert or notification. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video right now. These are the things which I would recommend you to do in case you come across the, the pop-up of the website or you can see connection not being private so that's about it i'm gonna wrap up this video thank you very much for watching if you found it useful leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the fox tag as well so you never miss future uploads and videos like this one thanks all for watching see you guys later